All right. Time to paint Hello, with Bob Hello, glad to see you again. Thought today we'd do a picture of this right straight out of Alaska. We'll do one of Mount McKinley, the most Mount almighty Paint's mountain ready. in the North American continent. And we'll start off today, and we use just a little bit of Prussian blue, maybe a touch of phthalo green mixed with it here. And let's dance in some basic shapes here. I've already put the magic white on the canvas to save a little time. So we're just literally mixing color right here on the canvas. Just let this brush dance and play and have fun. And all we're looking for is general basic cloud shapes here. We're really not trying to put anything in. Just let it happen. Just move the brush, keep it moving, working, playing, having fun. Oh here we God. go. See, they should have put this angle on the beginning. I don't know what nice I'm doing. Nice cloud shape right there. What the heck? Okay. Keep the brush moving. Don't no, let it stop. Sometimes brush is lazy. You have to really push it a little or it'll quit on you. Make it, make it keep moving. Okay, now we'll take the almighty brush here and we're going to swirl this. We're going to pull the color. Move it. Right. Pull it. There we go. Try to avoid a pattern. We want this to go everywhere. We're looking for a sky here that has life in it, has movement in it. We don't want a sky that looks like it might you pull the curtain down and everything went black on you, so I want to keep this moving. There. Already you're beginning to see all the little things happening up here. Every which direction. Every way. There we go. Now you can blend this too much and take it all out. We don't want to take it out. We just want to mix it up. Stir it up. How much are we supposed to put on? Some paint on the brush here. We'll add a little, a little more Prussian blue and phthalo green. And we'll put us in some water. Green. We pull from the outside in. And leave a little area open here. That will create this little sheen of light that plays across the water. Well, we're supposed to be blue. You can go back with white paint and put it back in, but you've already covered the canvas with magic white. So why not use it? Uh, lazy man's way of painting. Let them white side. Brush, let the brushes Ooh, work. Up. Use what happens naturally. Don't fight it. Oh, boy. Okay. Clean the old brush off. Let's get out an almighty fan brush here. And let's build some happy little clouds up here. I'm going to take titanium white. <sighs> with the least little touch of permanent red in it. And load the brush full of paint. Just really load it up. Load now it. we'll start working on some basic cloud shapes here. and We'll dance in all these little areas and let them just play in the sky. I'm dabbing, Keep the brush I'm dabbing. Moving. Keep it moving. You want areas that are thick, areas that are thin. Let all these little things happen. We'll take the big brush here and gently, gently blend this together, very lightly. Fluff it up a little and hypnotize it. Hypnotize and right there, you've got an almighty cloud. Just that quick. Kind of looks like but a storm very is brewing. Killed. Clouds are delicate. Don't overwork it. Put it in. Leave it alone. Okay. Okay, maybe we'll have another one here. We'll put a layer of these clouds somewhere. Oh my God. Nature is so beautiful. Just let it go. Have fun with it. Very, very easy to work these to death. Okay, we'll blend this in. And you work in layers here. You do the thing as the father's to wait first. Have him finished and then work forward. that one. Blend this one a little bit. Okay. A little bit more red here. Red. There we go. Whoa, 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 Don't want to set whoa, these clouds whoa. on fire. All we want to do is have a slight warmish 
gloat like Whoa. the sun's playing along the top. Oh my god, my paint's hard. Oh my there god. We go. Instead of a little bit of red. We better not forget this side of the sky. We'll put a little something. Oh my god, there. too much red. There's some nice little clouds playing around in the sky. up a little bit. My God. Maybe a little streaky one right here. It's got baby clouds too. If you didn't have baby clouds, you wouldn't have big clouds. Hey, we can work on this one a little touch. <laughs> Okay. okay, Bob, let's do yeah, this. It looks like a nice place. And we're really pushing this paint into the canvas, working that value right into the canvas. Just let it play. Don't kill all the dark areas. You can end up with great big cotton balls in the sky if you're not careful. Oh. I guess that'd be considered a right. UFO, a big cotton ball in the sky. Fluff that up. And work that yeah. paint. Paint everywhere. And look at there. In just, just a couple of minutes, you have a sky that has so much action happening in it. There we go. To use water. Okay. That's a bad idea. Let's, let's not do that. If you do this in your living room, you can redecorate your living room in a matter of minutes, so be very careful. Learn to control it. Have you a box you can shake your brush in, and, and that way you don't have to worry about covering everything. <clears throat> okay, let's take a little bit of brown, blue, a little touch of alizarin crimson, and some white. There we go. And don't mix your paint dead. Mix it marbly and leave it alone. Okay, now let's do... Since we're going to do McKinley today, let's do the basic the shape bend. here. McKinley comes down like so, Two. has another peak. Did you say brown? Running right off through Two here. Brown. Make that just a little more rounded. There. And we let oh, this side finally. drop right down and over. All you're looking for here is the basic outline, the basic shape of this mountain. Not worried at all what happens in here. Okay. We'll take the big brush and we'll pull that down. This takes off the excess paint and makes the next layer stick better. And also when you're doing mountains, if you can see the entire mountain, the top of the mountain is always more distinct than the bottom. The bottom of the mountain we have mist and now we have pollution. We have a multitude of things and that break up and diffuse light. Look we'll at this pro Oh, it's a little bit steeper. Pull that paint out real flat. Just pull it out and get us a little roll of paint. Oh, just lay this on. I think I'm missing Travel one. right on down. What? And you want the paint to break like this to make all the little things that happen in there. I can add a white paint. Light and dark oh, areas. Yeah. Hold up, Bob. Hold up. And Bob. There's a little bump that comes out right there. Bob. And works his way down. And over here, let I this drop. It's covered in blue. Just like so. There we go. Now for the shadow color, we'll use a little Prussian blue and white. And once again, don't mix it dead. You want it to, to be sort of marbly. Marbly. Okay. okay. And we'll start with the yeah. shadows. Yeah. Just lay these in here. We want to bring these two areas here together. Yeah. So we I just sort of this. work it back and forth. I'm a pro. There you go. Let it just come together. Can you Maybe change the camera? The shadow comes right down through here. 
Frick, yeah. Every highlight needs its own private shadow. Boom. 
This will be the beginning of our reflections. Okay, and we'll just give it a little bit of ripple to make it look watery. Do I need water? Stick water on Okay, let's mm -hmm. put some highlights on here. I'm going to use a little bit of magic Gross. white mixed with some cad yellow. A little oh, touch yeah. of permanent red. Yellow. And we just sort of go back and forth. Oh, we're supposed to wash this. orangey color here. Bright color. Mm. There oh. we go. All oh, these nice little red. bushes happening back here. Some yellow again. And then we'll just smush it. Go back. And it will reflect some of that right down to the water here. There we go. Now with a big brush and the most delicate, delicate touch possible. Just enough to pull the paint a little bit. We'll pull that down and just give it a watery effect. Don't want to destroy it. Oh, now, let's take, oh God, I can't do this. mix up a lot of dark here. Blue, brown, <laughs> lizard, and a little bit of sap green. Sap Should green. look black to you. Sap green. <clears throat> and we'll load the brush full of paint. Load it full. I'll load it with paint. A lot of paint. And let's make some little evergreen trees that are growing way back here in the distance. Firm that one up a little bit. Needs to be a little stronger. There we go. Maybe he's got a friend that lives right over here. Come on, tree friends. Just drop him in. around the curve. Try to avoid you. And they're like everything else. The first time you try them, they're gonna drive you up the wall. Then you, but you practice it. If 
there's a secret to this, it is practice. You learn how to make the brush work, how to touch the canvas with it, and then it's just a matter of practicing. The first time you tied your shoe, it wasn't easy. You had to look at it and work at it. The next thing you know, you're not paying any attention. You just you got your shoe tied. Same I'm going to be a pro painter by the end of this. Oh, what's the dad? My goodness, what's wrong with me? We'll just... Maybe we'll make another little projection coming right out through here. There we go. Put a reflection in here. We'll pull that down.
Maybe over here. Now, a little more magic quite. Thin that down just a touch. And we can start finding all these beautiful little trees and bushes that are living in here. Very important that you don't kill all this dark area. If you kill all the dark, your picture's gonna be very flat. We might as well just reflect it right into the water there. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're curving it in. A little bit right in here. And we'll reflect it right on down, a little touch of red over the top. Okay, there's another nice tree I see. Rascals live in your brush. You guys got to push them out. And let's put a touch more of the magic here. There. Nice oh, poker cool. All these pretty little bushes. Just let them flow off your brush. Dirt now. Look at me. I'm freaking doing ground. amazing. I'm and on to that, we'll take a little brown and white. Oh, see. Give him just a little touch oh, of highlight. Genius. Make him look like little stones and rocks playing through here. Oh, no. Okay. Let's put a few little sticks here and there. Here we're just cutting through the paint and using the paint. point of that knife. But it shows distance. It shows all these different planes. Okay. We'll put just a little bit of magic quite under here. Give us a little water line. There we go. And a few little sticks over here. But you see what you can do in just a few minutes with an almighty brush and an almighty knife and a beautiful painting in your heart. And all you have to do is let it out. A few more sticks. There we go. I think we'll call that finished. And I want to thank you very, very much for watching us. I hope to see you again in the near Are future. We Until then, happy painting. Thank you. We're going to sign us now. Thank you.